Hi, I'm Lizzie Day. I'm a postdoc at EAPS in MIT. I'm a deep earth seismologist, so I'm interested in the structure of the deep earth. What does it look like seismically, and what does that mean the earth is made of? So as a seismologist, I use the waves from earthquakes to make pictures of what the Earth's deep interior looks like. It's kind of like taking an x-ray, but using seismic waves. So it's important for us to understand why the surface of our planet looks the way that it does. We want to know why there are volcanoes where there are, why there are subduction zones where there are, and how we think the Earth is going to evolve, and also how it became the planet that we live on today. So our planet is made of four main divisions. We have the crust on which we live, and then beneath the crust we have the Earth's mantle. And then beneath that we have the outer core and the inner core. The inner core is a solid ball of iron. The surface of the inner core is actually hotter than the surface of the sun. And then in the outer core we have all of this hot convecting iron, which is what gives us our magnetic field. So by trying to understand things like what the structure of the inner core is, we can hope to understand why we have a magnetic field now, why we might have had one in the past before we even had an inner core, and also how the mantle is affected by things that go on in the core. And how the mantle behaves is what controls the way that the plates that move around on the Earth's surface will do. So by understanding how all of these divisions of the Earth connect together, we can understand more about how our planet evolved and why it is the way it is now. I'm working on a couple of different projects. I'm interested in the seismic structure of Earth's inner core, and I'm also interested in the structure of the Earth's mantle in the Pacific. We're interested in what the mantle looks like under Hawaii, and what that means for why the surface of the Earth looks the way it does. So we think that Hawaii is caused by a hot upwelling mantle plume, so we would like to image that, and from that understand more about what the mantle is made of in that region. Um, I started off actually as a physicist, so I was interested in lots of big scale problems. And at the end of my undergraduate degree, I took a course called The Physics of the Earth as a Planet. And this totally, like, I loved it. It was so exciting to take all of these equations that I'd learned in physics and apply them to this real world problem that told us all about why our Earth looks the way it does now and can also be applied to other planets. I love the way that with seismology we can do this very simple thing where we look at which regions of the Earth are fast and which regions are slow, or which re regions are very reflective or not as reflective as we expect, and then we can make inferences about what our Earth is made of, if it's hot or cold in particular regions, and then we can understand why we have the surface features that we have today.